Generic greetings and welcome back to RimWorld once again. And currently we've got a, uh, a psychotic binge going. So Tyrone, the housemaid, binging on. Uh, oh yes, what a surprise! It's the uh, the same tea that they always binge on. Anyway, in the previous episode, new arrivals. We now have Erin, who is very very good at. If we have a quick look at the character, good at medicine or really has a, uh, a, a, a fire for it, a, um, a burning passion. Uh, and we've also got good cooking and mining. So very very good indeed. Still not got a very good um, person for building, because we've only got one person that does that, but hey-ho. We also had a new arrival in the term of... <laughs> in the form of someone who I can't pronounce the name of, um, and that's where their blood is there. That's where most of their organs were left, and sadly, we brought them in here. We were going to tent to them, and then immediately started fighting, and couldn't really do it. Either way, uh, this episode, cracking on, uh, we're going to hunt some more... Um, of these beavers to get the alpha beaver meat, and then we'll be able to hopefully... Uh, hopefully just expand and crack on, so... We're going to go to Architect and then Production, and we're going to build a Stonecutter table in, uh, we'll say there. There for now should be fine. I want to put a lamp in between the two, you see, so I actually got some light in here. So I will go over to Power. Actually, it won't be in Power. It'll be in, um, unsurprisingly, it'll be in Furniture, and Standing Lamp will go there, and that should be fine. As you can see, we're bringing everything into this storage here, so that should be good. And then we also need to have somewhere for them to eat, and I'm going to get that prioritised. So, we've got, a different t we've got different types of tables. I think, ideally, we want to go for something like that. I have a fairly big table. These battery storage, uh, er, this battery storage area, rather, we are going to change, I think, eventually. I think we'll shift it somewhere. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually dismantle that uh, that table as well, because we're going to put it in here. I think having a, a research table is um, better out the way, and we can definitely then stay in here, and we'll actually say discon deconstruct that. We'll go over to, it'll be production, and simple research bench, which will go there, and then we'll speed up to max speed. As you can see, we're now bringing some um, alpha beaver in there as well. In terms of the uh, wood butcher table, we've got butcher creature forever. In terms of the bills for the electric stove, we've got cook fine meal on 75. To be honest with you, we'll just say do forever. There's no reason why we can't do that. We've got a simple meal there, but we don't want to do that yet. We want to um, crack on and do the other stuff. The fine meals are just better. See, we've got uh, 10 meals there, and we're making some more. Lots of potatoes. We're going to have lots of stuff here, rice and all that. So, yeah, that's okay. Um, people have mentioned about moving these down to here so they grow faster. Uh, you're not wrong. I think what we'll do eventually is uh, we'll need to probably move... We'll get rid of these two and then move them around. We've also got some um, tattered clothes, and I don't know what I can do about it. Um, so it's making them sad. So we need to really do some trading or make some uh, better better clothing. Uh, I don't yet have a, a tailor. We've got a hand, a hand tailor bench, an electric tailor bench. So I think we'll have... We'll probably have an electric tailor's bench. We'll cancel that, which is our research bench. We'll say electric tailor bench will go there, and then we'll have a... Then we'll probably have... I don't know, a simple research bench in the corner. The problem is this is our storage, and quite frankly, we are really starting to fill it up. Although there's no reason why this can't be outside for the time being, this research bench. Not that we use it a lot. Um, do you want to just put it outside for now? It's not electric, is it? It's just... Uh, yeah, yeah, it can go there. So unless it's raining, there's uh, yeah. Oh no, it has a work speed work speed penalty outdoors. Right, okay, yeah. So it has thought about that. Clever game. Um, I guess we'll just put it in this corner then for now. Obviously, we'll sit area like that. That guy is currently wandering around because I'm guessing they're on. Uh, I guess they're. Tales of Joy, eight fine meal, feeling good. Yeah. They've got a high tolerance for that stuff. Basically, they're, they're off the face on these on these drugs. Which is why they're wandering around constantly. Um, I'm going to re-forbid that animal because it's... Where's he going? Ah, he's going to pick that up there. Um, yeah, I'm going to... It just said deteriorating. Can we take it? Yeah, we might as well unforbid it. We'll see if we can do that. So we've got enough food there. We need to sort that out. But that's a, another constructing task. So we'll see what happens. It looks like there's a mad animal. A muffalo's gone mad. Jump the location there. And oh my god, it's chasing Martinez off. Um, <laughs> right, we'll bring it back to uh, back to here. We do have the speed advantage on it. In the meantime... I'm going to get, um, who's got the gun? Don't say it's Tyrone. Oh my god, yes, the guy that really, really likes his 
uh, beverages is uh well I can't do anything about it because he's got that psychotic break so I can't control him do you want to get these two because we might have to fight this muffalo well we will have to fight the muffalo no we won't fine <laughs> that's good though that's at least we know we've got a a big muffalo and we got also a nice decent amount of um of meat as well and hide which is good Oh, there we go. Tyron is no longer binging on that. On that horrible tea. Mm. Incidentally, I have a cup of tea. It's not a psychotic one, it's just um, normal tea or English breakfast if you prefer. Sadly, it isn't ability because, well, I need some more of that. Mm. This is quite nice though. Anyway, so there, crack on there, we do need to probably set. Where are you off to? Are you picking up their meals? Yes, you are picking up those meals. Where's our constructor? Work. Construct. Level one, please. Get on with the constructing. We're not out of wood. So Martinez should be doing that first and foremost. There we go. Right, crack on. So, uh, lavish meal eight has rotted away in storage. Why? Not refrigerated spoils. Uh, problem then. Since when did that happen? I'm guessing since we... What, what, what's the temperature of it? It doesn't say. Temperature. Doesn't say. We've got power, so it should be working. It is connected. Target temperature minus four. I'm guessing we just don't have enough free uh, enough for the coolers. It does point out that sometimes you do need more than one, so I will do that. We'll get double freezer in here. And I will prioritize that. Spoils in a day. Yeah, it's just not. Target temperature will say minus 5 degrees. This one. Target temperature minus 5. Frozen one spoil. There we go. Sorted now. Job done. Okay. That's a bit better. Excellent. So we'll deconstruct that. Oh, now I'll deconstruct that. And then finally, we might have in here, if we get a nice table, could have a two by two, but I'm thinking just get one of those and that's like job done really, isn't it? Actually, we don't need them that size. That should be big enough, but if, we, if we're replacing that, then that should be fine. I mean, ideally, we're going to be expanding this anyway, so we might as well expand the. F we might as well expand this first. Oh, lightning! Yeah, might as well expand this one first. Don't think. Don't know if we're going to expand the freezer, although it might be. Uh, might be worth doing. Fire! We got fire. Okay, it's outside of our borders, so it shouldn't be a problem. Although no, it's it's spreading. It's spreading. Okay. Right. So we want to go over to orders. And it isn't there, dandy. So what we'll have to do, we'll have to expand our home zone. Oh, it is in our home zone. It is in our home zone anywhere. And if we go to the work, um, for a start, we want doctor at level one, which is something I should have changed previously. Um, we'll say flick at level one and firefight everybody at level one. Firefight should be the priority for people. There you go. So they're just gonna put that out. Job done. That's a little bit of rain anyway, so we're gonna they're always gonna put that out. Um this bit here, I'm thinking of maybe expanding this building to this size and then just cutting a little bit of these crops off, because we are gonna shift them down to here anyway, so it's not gonna much matter. And we can shift these all north and stuff, so I don't think there's a big problem. So we'll just say to um Delete zones. Uh, we'll say delete up to... If that's going to be the wall, then one another walkway to there. These are still crops. These will still grow. And you can see it says growth rate 
100%. Not very grown though. So we'll have to... We'll have to leave it for now. Uh, we'll put that up to there. We will have a door um, in here now. I'm going to change the doors just a little bit. And um, I guess... I, I don't think we really need a... Do we need a bigger fridge? I think we need a bigger fridge, don't we? Although, these are turning into meals anyway, frozen meals. So we should be alright. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, that's deconstructing. This guy's going to crack on. In terms of flooring, same type of floor. So it'll be in floors, wooding, wooding, wood floor, wood floor there, wood floor there. We want to deconstruct that we want to deconstruct that. That's already set as deconstruct. And then we want to go and remove all of this wall here. Up to there. And then we need to make that floor as well. And then put some lights in. Because at the moment, obviously, it ain't got a roof. And, oh, that's a thing. This is too big. The, the ceiling will come down. Good job I caught that. So, actually, what we'll do is we'll cancel deconstruction of that bit and that bit and we'll have like wooden pillars in I think it's a distance of seven to the end before it breaks so um, that should be okay if we have one two three four five one there one two three four five actually you know what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six. That one there. One, two, three, four, five, six. That should be fine then. That one there. If I've got the calculations correct, which I'm not entirely convinced I have. Um, well, yeah. Let's see how it goes, shall we? So he's going to finish building this. Obviously, I need to chop the trees down and such. Um. A turkey has become tame. It is now des designated Turkey 1. Huh. Cool. We now have a tame turkey. We can give it obedience training. Um. <laughs> who Who is it with? A male turkey of generics. That's very cool. Um, we need a sleeping box for it then. So we will go ahead and sort that out. We'll also do this, um, this bed bedroom because we just haven't. So... In terms of furniture, it is animal sleeping box. We'll put an animal sleeping box at the end of everybody's bed, just because we can. We'll have a standing lamp going in there. We'll have a bed, which will be spun around and put there. We will have a pot plant in that corner. And then finally, a dresser in there. And there we are. So, that's fine. So, we've got a turkey who's just going to be doing whatever it wants, really. So we'll remove that, we'll put the floor in. Um, see, we're doing a bit of... I don't know if you saw that, we tried to do a bit of animal, animal, animal taming there. I thought that was quite good. Um, so, once this is finished, actually we'll, may, we'll be able to turn that... Say, for prisoners now. And I really want him to finish that bed. Which they've now done yet, so that'll be owned. It's currently un unowned, but as soon as they, uh, yeah, as soon as they go to bed, as you can see, it says, uh, yeah, Erin now. Excellent. Okay, so are those still, yeah, those are still frozen. That's fine. It looks like it was just just a sheer amount of stuff in there. Uh, Peace talks opportunity. Um, Holy chief of the Mechum of the desert sent us a message. He wants to talk with us in a nearby location. It could be a great opportunity to improve relations with their faction, but beware. A poor negotiator can cause more harm than good and even anger them. The offer will expire in 15 days. Jump to location. You can see is there. So we can send someone over there to, to have a chat. And it's quite close. So, um, do we want to do that? Um, so, planning road, there are there, total route one day, uh, 1.3 days, um, okay, it's not too far then, can farm a caravan, do we want to do that, we could send one person away, just one person I think, um, so who is the best person for... I always forget the names of the... Well, not the names, but I forget what they often do. I think it was uh, Tyrone, wasn't it? Social 3, perhaps not. 
Social 4. Social 0. Social 10. That's uh, Gizmo. They're not our construction one, though. And that's fine. Okay, so in the morning, what we might do is send them off, I think. Yeah, I think so. Uh, we should also really set someone in terms of research to getting that done. So we'll say priority of two, and that'll be Gizmo anywhere. And what's he actually doing? More meditating. Excellent. Next to loads of blood. Anyway. <laughs> um, looks like they've got food poisoning from fine meal. But I don't know which one is spoiled. Fresh, 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 fresh. They're all fresh. Am I missing something? I don't know, but that says fresh to me. Okay. Uh, let's see if my calculations are correct. Well, it didn't collapse immediately. We've still got time, don't you worry. But, um, yeah, let's see how it goes. So, research now, smithing is complete. So, research speed, I want to go for mic micro electronics, but we haven't got machining, which we'll now research machining. Pause it for a second, go to architect, go over to the flooring, and then the wooden floor, put the wooden flooring in. Then, finally, for, well, it seems like forever now, I will put in a table. So, I think f probably a big table just in this corner. Like around here. That's quite nice. Yeah, that's quite nice indeed. Um, we'll have like a lamp at the end. And some pot plants in the corner. That'll be nice. Yeah, then we'll have a standing lamp in there as well. And then obviously we do need some dining chairs, which will go all the way along. Spin that round. And there you go. That, I think you can go. I don't think. I think they'll be okay going past that. You'll just have to uh, sort of. Scooch in a little bit as you uh, <laughs> do that. Right. What I want to do is put a convoy together. So, do I do that now or do I wait until this is finished? I don't know, but I do really want to have a standing lamp in the centre there. And a little, maybe a plant pot there, I don't know. I might wall off this battery area and just keep it there. But I don't know. We'll see. In terms of power, alright, two solar panels, one wind turbine, so that's fine. So looks like we haven't now place to eat, that's good. Still cooking fine. Remember, a lot of this is, is sort of temporary, we're going to be changing it anyway. Um, they're getting the strawberries, we've still got enough alpha baby meat. Look at all the food, That's we've got so much of it now. But I guess it stacks anyway, so it doesn't really matter, and we can trade it as well. So that's good, that's good. So, I'm going to leave it another day. Um... Just tell me what item deterioration Mark has learned. I must confess the uh, thing like that is quite useful. Uh, what I'm going to do as well is go to the security and the deadfall trap here. Um, and we will add some deadfall traps. Um, if they come down here, they're going to be going around this corner. Something like that should be about right. Um, in terms of this corner, something like that as well. They might stand in that one. And then, uh, if they come from the south, we've got a bit decent bit of defence. But we'll see. Put a couple of maybe in that corner. There we are. That should be us. So finally, got an area for people to seat, uh, to be to be seated and eat. We've got research on the go. And we do need to send someone to have a little bit of a talk. I think that's going to be worth it. We also need to uh, put a bit of wall there because, um, well, as you can see, we ain't got it. Right, so I think as soon as Gizmo's up and running, we will... Has he got... What, gun, what weapon has he got? Uh... Gear. None. Nothing. Really? You can have a club then. Right, so he's got a club. So he's going to go for a bit of brekkie. No, he's not. He's just going to stand there. Either way, what we're going to do is we're going to put a caravan together. So we'll go for the world map. Never done this before, but I'm guessing it is simple matter of um, 
Farm caravan. So we want to say, um, probably Gizmo. And do you want to take Alan with us? Uh, no, we probably don't. Okay. So, items. So, just says 0 0.5 days worth of food. Will rot in four days. So, we need to bring more food. I'm going to take 3.8 days worth of food. It's only, I think it's a day and a half there, day and a half back. So, that's an extra bit of food, so that should be fine. Don't want to take any more because it'll rot. Although we could take packaged survival meals, you see. Oh, they rot as well in this heat. So we'll take... We'll take seven meals. Um, do I want to trade anything? No, I think I think what we've got is is fine. Um, um, exit direction will be south east. Accept. Confirm. So if we speed it up, the question is: Are we going to get? The, where's the caravan? Gizmo's just putting stuff together, I think, and then he's heading off. Yep, there he goes. It's actually southwest. We should have gone. Hey ho. So there he is. And we'll go for the peace talks. And then he's having a wonder. Excellent. Right. We are going to leave it there. Not a bad episode, I don't think. Um, got some stuff done, that's for sure. Hopefully this will go well. I've never tried this before, so we'll see. Either way, hope you have enjoyed the video. Comments in the comments, and we'll see what happens next time. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings. <laughs>